Jack Knight Winners. This is Jack Frost University, and this is I'm continuing on with the 12 presumptions of the court. I left off on number uh, seven, so I got to start with seven. Um, the presumption of court of guardians is the presumption that as you may be listed, as you may be listed as a resident of a ward of a local government area and have listed on your passport the letter P, you are a pauper and therefore under the guardian powers of the government and its agents as a court of guardians. Unless this presumption is openly challenged to demonstrate you are both the general guardian and general executor of the matter of the trust before the court, the presumption stands and you are by default a pauper and a lunatic and therefore must obey the rules of the clerk of guardians, clerk of magistrates court. Number eight, the presumption of court of trustees is that members of the private bar guild presume you accept the office of trustee as a public servant and government employee just by attending a Roman court, as such courts are always for public trustees by the rules of the guild and the Roman system. Unless this presumption is openly challenged to state you are merely visiting by invitation to clear up the matter and you are not a government employee or public trustee in this instance, the presumption stands and is assumed as one of the most significant reasons to claim jurisdiction simply because you appeared. Okay? So I guess it's saying um, if you're going to go to a court, a lower inferior county court, um, you should state that you're, you know, merely visiting by invitation. Although I can tell you from experience, once the cuffs go on you, if you're in jail, um, they force you into a courtroom. So, you know, you can tell them whatever you want at that point. I've never known them to listen. They didn't listen to me when I spoke to them. But I, I think it's still proper to understand what these presumptions are. Okay, The presumption of government acting in two roles as ex executor and beneficiary is that for the matter at hand, the private bar guild appoint the judge magistrate in the capacity of executor while the prosecutor acts in the capacity of beneficiary of the trust for the current matter. Unless this presumption is openly challenged to demonstrate you are both the general guardian and general executor of the matter before the court, the presumption stands and you are by default the trustee therefore must obey the rules of the executor. So ba you basically, you need to explain to them that you are not operating as a trustee. That you are... I still have a little bit to learn about this. Um, I guess you need to tell them that you are the general executor of the trust and not the trustee. They... Um, by default, their presumption is that you are the trustee. And then when you... Um, don't pay the bill that they're presenting before you because all all commercial all crimes are crimes of equity under the jurisdiction of the C, right? All crimes are crimes of equity. No matter what you've done, um, you've injured someone. It's still a crime of equity. All crimes are crimes of equity in the C jurisdiction. So um, they assume that you are trustee, and that's and, that, and what they're doing is they're making a. Pr when they present you with a criminal complaint or the charges, the charges, see, because they're assuming and presuming that you are this thing, this all caps straw man name, and that you are the trustee, they're charging you, which is a, it's like you charge a credit card. You know, it's a financial term. They're charging you. And they want you to pay the bill. They're, they're wanting you to, to pay the charges. Um, you have to explain to them that you're the executor of the, of the trust, is what this is saying. Um, because by default, they're going to assume you're the trustee. Uh, number 10, the presumption of executor de son tort is the presumption that if the accused does, does seek to assert their rights as executor and beneficiary over their body, mind, and soul, they're acting as an executor tort or a false executor, challenging the rightful judge as executor. Therefore, the judge magistrate assumes the role of true executor and has the right to have you arrested, detained, fined, or forced into a psychiatric evaluation. Unless this presumption is openly challenged by not only asserting one's position as executor, as well as 
questioning if the judge or magistrate is seeking to act as executor de son toward the presumption stands and a judge or magistrate of the private bar guild may seek to assistance of bailiffs or sheriffs to assert their false claim. I guess they're saying if you, I guess a presumption is that if you try to assert your right as executor and beneficiary over your mind, body, and soul, they're going to consider you a false executor? That doesn't sound, that's what they did to me. The, number 11, the presumption of incompetence is the presumption that you are at least ignorant of the law, therefore incompetent to present yourself and argue properly. Therefore, the judge magistrate as executor has the right to have you arrested, detained, feist, or forced into a psychiatric evaluation. Unless this presumption is openly challenged to the fact that you know your position as executor and beneficiary and actively rebuke and object to any contrary presumptions, then it stands by the time of pleading that you are incompetent, then the judge or magistrate can do what they need to keep you obedient. Their presumption is that you're ignorant of the law and that you're incompetent. Okay. Number 12, the presumption of guilt is the presumption that it is presumed to be a private business meeting of the bar guild. You are guilty whether you plead guilty, do not plead, or plead not guilty. Therefore, unless you have either have previously prepared an affidavit of truth and motion dismissed with extreme prejudice onto the public record or call a demur, then the presumption is you are guilty and the private bar guild can hold you until a bond is prepared to guarantee the amount the guild wants to profit from you. Saying that the presumption, which is basically, I've said this before, it doesn't matter what you plead. It doesn't plead guilty, not guilty, no contest, no lo contendre, contendre. It, it doesn't matter. You're guilty once those cuffs get slapped on you, okay? Once the, once the cuffs are on you, you're guilty. I told you, they take, the sheriff's office will take money out of your wallet before you're found guilty of anything. What does that tell you? Before you're found guilty of anything, they're taking money right out of your wallet and giving it to the sheriff's office. Okay, you're, the, the, you're guilty the second the cuffs go on you. It doesn't matter uh, what you plead. <laughs> they're already treating you as guilty, okay? Um... And uh, the private bar guild can hold you until a bond is prepared. Since you need to prepare your own bond. Some people are preparing their own bonds. So that's the 12 presumptions of the court. And again, um, I don't know who wrote this, but all of this is in line with what I've been learning about law. You have to, uh, you know, I, yeah. Okay, so there it is.